The nurse is preparing to administer a medication to a patient with a central line. As the nurse flushes the line, she meets resistance and realizes the line is occluded. The nurse then makes her charge nurse aware and asks for the policy regarding thrombolysis of central lines. Following policy, the nurse then follows the first step of contacting the physician. The physician will then place an order for cath flow activase to be administered to the line. The pharmacist then delivers cath flow activase to the nurse with step-by-step -step instructions. The nurse then withdraws 2.2 milliliters of sterile water for injection. The sterile water is then injected into the activase vial, diluting the powder. There may be slight foaming, this is not unusual. Allow the vial to stand undisturbed to allow large bubbles to dissipate. Mix gently by swirling until the contents are completely dissolved. This should occur within three minutes. Do not shake the vial. Withdraw two milliliters of solution from the reconstituted vial. Attach a three-way stopcock directly to the hub of the catheter with the off valve facing the catheter. Attach an empty 10 milliliter syringe to the side port of the stopcock. Attach the 10 milliliter syringe containing the two milliliters of cath flow activase to the straight port of the stopcock, turning the stopcock off to the syringe with the cath flow activase. Using the empty syringe, aspirate and hold back to the eight milliliter mark. Turn the stopcock off to the aspirated syringe. The two milliliters of cath flow activase will automatically be pulled into the catheter. Turn the stopcock off facing the catheter. Allow cath flow activase to dwell in the catheter for 30 minutes. then turn the stopcock off towards the cath flow activase syringe and attempt to aspirate blood into the empty syringe. If able to aspirate, withdraw 5 milliliters of blood. Aspirating removes cath flow activase and the residual clot. Gently irrigate catheter with 20 milliliters of normal saline. Now the nurse is able to administer the medication to the patient.